Washington, our nation's capital, has been visited by millions of Americans, young and old. And here in Washington are some of the boys and girls of the school safety patrols. This visit to America's most historic city will always be a thrilling memory to those who attend the National Assembly of School Safety Patrols. Everyone knows what the School Safety Patrol does. On street corners all over the country, safety patrols remind people, children and adults, to be safe in traffic. We know that everything possible is done to keep children safe while they're riding school buses. And the bus patrol members keep them safe when they're getting in and out. The safety patrol means more safety in school and on the playground. School authorities, police departments, and public spirited groups have done a fine job of organizing and supporting the school safety patrol. These boys and girls are chosen as safety patrol members because they've earned the respect of their schoolmates and because they can be leaders. Of course, even if we're not safety patrol members ourselves, safety is our business, no matter how old or how young we are, or whether we go to school or what we do. But wherever you may be, you'll find the safety patrol helping others in learning to be safe and reminding us all that it's better to be safe than sorry. And sometimes, safety patrol members do much more than is expected of them in teaching the habits of safety. For example, there's the story of Jimmy Adams. One morning, early this winter, Jimmy was guarding his corner as usual. Would you mind running for my go signal before you cross the street? Ah, uh, I don't need anyone to tell me what to do. That's just what you do need. Jones, always running, never looking. Well, it's your corner. What do you want to do about him? I don't know. He doesn't pay any attention to anybody. That kid needs to be led by the hand. Say, that gives me an idea. Look, Cap, if I get an okay from the sponsor, can you put someone else on my post after school tonight? Okay. Paul, you take the corner. What are you going to do, Jimmy? I'm going to do just what Paul said. Lead him by the hand. I have a note here from the principal that says, Billy Jones has permission to leave school a few minutes early today. You may leave now, Billy. Billy didn't know what it was all about. But Jimmy did. He reminded Billy that safety patrol members are not chosen to be bosses, but to help others. Now we're gonna do what the patrol member says. Stand here. And as long as we're here, we might as well find out what he does. He stands three feet back from the street. When we can cross safely, he signals us to cross. Like this, see? And we walk. Billy, why don't you get smart? The way you act sets a bad example for all the other kids. Look, there's a boy learning to drive in the high school's driver training car. And Billy, you can bet that the safety rules he's learning while he's driving are easier for him. 
Because he's already learned the safety rules for walking. Jimmy explained the safety rules for pedestrians. Stop at the curb. Look both ways. Wait until it's safe. Then walk across the street. If a car is parked so it blocks the view of traffic, children are to wait on the curb while the patrol member steps into the street. Not more than three steps either. If there's no patrol member at the corner, you've got to be extra careful about parked cars. All the way home, Jimmy talked about safety and how easy it is to be careful. And all the way home, Billy seemed to be paying no attention at all. Good night, Mr. Safety. Okay. And I'm going to take you to school Monday, too. I'll be waiting right here. And the next day, Saturday, Billy was just as careless as ever about crossing streets. He just wanted to get those groceries home in a hurry so he could spend the rest of the weekend having fun. Hey, Jay, give me that call. Come on, come on. Hey, watch out! You kids are lucky to be alive. And if it hadn't been for you, son, they might not be alive. Thanks, fella. That was quick thinking. You're a regular Mr. Safety, aren't you? Mr. Safety. Billy had been kidding when he called Jimmy Mr. Safety. But the truck driver wasn't kidding. Suddenly, Billy knew it was no joke about safety being one of the most important rules in life. Hi, Jim. Hi, Bill. I just came to tell you, you don't need to take me to school Monday morning. I'll be there, don't worry. But you don't have to. I don't? Look, Jim, honest, I've learned my lesson about safety. All right, then I won't take you to school. But how about it, us just walking together? You know, friends. And maybe we could talk about me joining the safety patrol? Okay. Friends, maybe we can talk about the safety patrol. That's why Jimmy Adams and Billy Jones are good friends. And more important, that's why Billy Jones obeys traffic safety rules and respects the safety patrol members. There are thousands of boys like Jimmy Adams and thousands of girls too, helping to protect precious lives by giving up some of the time they could be using for fun. You'll find them on duty in rain or snow, sunshine or storm, proud to be doing their job. Okay. Hi, Jim. Hi, Bill. And many more children like Billy though they may not be patrol members themselves, are doing an important job of setting good examples for their schoolmates. signal means that the patrol members are off duty. But it also means another job well done. Thousands of jobs well done. But of course, it isn't all work. Some patrol activities are fun. Picnics, hikes, and camping trips. Baseball games. Special movies for patrol members. And other events planned for them because their work is appreciated. 
In America, there are more than 500,000 safety patrol members. They are proud to represent all of us everywhere who know that safety is everyone's business. And all of us, young and old, can help them represent us even better if we follow their lead and try ourselves to be examples of safety on every street and highway every day of the year.